Yeah, I think that's the main thing. He's playing with a lot of confidence, a lot of swagger. Uh, I know much work he put in the offseason, uh, just getting his mind right and his body right, uh, dealing with injuries and stuff like that last year. Uh, like I said, I think that's the main thing. He's playing with a lot of confidence. He's making plays. And I talk to him all the time in the locker room, like we're going to need him to play big time ball. And he's been doing the same thing uh, that he's been doing all through training camp. So excited for him and watching him keep growing as a player this year. Right. Is that coincidence or you know, how does that work? I mean, some turnovers are, you know, being in the right place at the right time. Um, sometime the quarterback just throws it to you. Sometimes the ball just pops out and you're right there to scoop the ball up. Uh, but a lot of it is intentional. Right? If it's, you know, you're getting into the pocket, far arm reaching and stuff like that. Uh, they're all things that as far as things that you do every day in practice, every day in practice, you never know when the situation is going to come up in the game. Um, so I think there's something we have to just keep preaching. Uh, just getting the ball out, really just, you know, even when you come up making tackles, I know a lot of times when you're one-on-one -on -one tackle trying to get the guy down, but we got to be thinking, get the ball, get the ball. Uh, that's that's probably our biggest emphasis today and just throughout the week, just get the ball. You like like kind of preparing for a, a rookie quarterback that you've really not seen a lot of, you've seen a couple games, but right. that's about it. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I kind of treat him like, like any other quarterback. I watch the film on him, uh, try to see what I can pick up from him throughout the week to make sure that I can – go out there and be in position to make plays. Uh, watching him, honestly, he has a really good skill set. I mean, he's really good escapability out of the pocket. Uh, but it's funny because, I mean, you look at all the rookie quarterbacks this year, they're all kind of struggling a little bit. Uh, and especially early in the year, that's kind of what you see struggles, really not seeing the coverage as well. So I think it's going to be a uh, big responsibility for me and Dane and all the other safeties and DBs, really just changing the picture on them, uh, just trying to make them confused as much as possible. And I know the defensive line and Shane's going to draw some blitz to try to get in the middle of the pocket, try to force him to make those mistakes that we've seen him do uh, throughout this year. So uh, I'm just excited because the next game, you know, we won two straight, uh, trying to get a third one in a row. So I'm definitely excited this week. How important is it to stack on that? You guys maybe haven't played your best in the last couple of weeks, but you got wins. How important is it to stack on Yeah, it's just important to continue to build and grow and, and, and just get better. I think that's the main thing. You don't. I mean, you don't necessarily say that you want to peak early, you know what I'm saying? But you want to continue to get better and get better and get better. Uh, obviously, we didn't play our, play well the first game, but we're continuously getting better. So that's the main thing we want to just keep doing. And uh, it's going to be a great opportunity to go up to New York and do the same thing, get better and try to get another win. Drake will use that line on us about the right tackle, lead the team in, in forced fumbles. Does he, <laughs> does he remind you of guys? Does he use that line on you guys to try to motivate you? Well, he led with it this morning, pretty much saying we got to get the ball. You know, it's not. I mean, honestly, I didn't even think about that. That quiz has been leading the team in uh, forced fumbles, but we have to get the ball. And I don't think it's you know anything. It's not nothing bad about it. Honestly, I think he was just kind of making a joke about it. But uh, we do have to get the ball. But I mean, we can find ways to win without getting turnovers. So if we get more turnovers, I think we'll be a lot more dominant. So uh, that's the that's the message for the week, and that's the plan for this week. Try to get as many turnovers. We'll see uh, where we're at um, next Wednesday when I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> no, nah, it's funny because we actually practiced that a little bit this offseason. Like, we did a drill where, as if we had caught an interception and it was running down, trying to punch at the ball. Because usually, a lot of times, guys are getting interception returns. They don't really know how to carry the ball, know nothing about ball security. So, they've been punching the ball out. And it's funny that he ended up getting one. So, uh, I kind of joked about it. I knew that Vrabel was going to bring that up sometime because uh, he got it because we practiced it during practice. So, uh, now he, he's got all the tips, trust me.